calculating common logarithms. So let's evaluate the log of 1517. We need to know, since you don't see a base there, this actually refers to the common logarithm of a log with base 10 of 1517. And so we can write this as y equals log base 10 of 1517. And what this corresponds to is the exponential equation 10 to the y equals 1517. So now we know 10 raised to powers pretty easily. So if you cube 10, you get 1000. And notice that's a little bit less than 1517. And if you took 10 to the fourth, you'd get 10,000. So neither one of those actually equal 1517. So we know it's actually one number between three and four there. Well, in order to find it, we can get a nice decimal approximation what number between three and four just by using our calculator. And so that's what we're gonna do here is just turn it on and then we hit log of 1517. And close off our parentheses. And that is the log base 10. So there's a base 10 sitting right here. And what we get as our final answer is 3.18. And then if we run at three decimal places, 3.181. So the log of 1517 is 3.181. Okay, let's try another. Um, so in this case, we'll have evaluate the natural log of 53,412. And recall that this is another common logarithm. Uh, the natural log has a log with a base E. So this is essentially the log base E of 53,412, and we could even set it equal to y, and we could even set up the equation e to the y equals 53,412. But if you recall, e is actually a number uh, 2.71828, so on and so forth. So this isn't going to equal a nice number like 53,412. Well, we once again call upon our calculator to solve this problem. And if you look, we can hit our on button once again, and that natural log button appears right here. And so we hit natural log, and then we want 53,412. And if we end up uh, calculating this, we'll get, if we round three decimal places, it would be 10.886. And so we can get answers using this natural log and logarithm function. And so the base uh, 10 and base E actually work well for us. Now, we might get calculator happy. We want to make sure we account for there are scenarios where it's better to go without a calculator. And so let's just say we wanted to evaluate log of natural log of E raised to the 10,000th power. So maybe we can calculate that, maybe we can't. Let's see what the calculator can do. So we want to do log of natural log of, oops, uh, let's just go back here real quick. Natural log of e to the 10,000th power. And let's see if it can handle this. So we close off the 10,000, then we'll close off that e part. And we'll close off that natural log by those three parentheses right there. Did I add an extra one? Just, yep, real quick, we'll delete that. Okay. So now we just hit enter and see what pops out. Well, uh-oh, we have an overflow error. And what that means is our calculator can't handle numbers that large. When we did e to the 10,000th power, uh, we got too large of a number, so we can't find an answer. Fortunately for us, there's going to be more material related to properties of logarithms that will allow us to make such a calculation. So stay tuned. Properties of logarithms will help out tremendously.